We've had some great guests on, but tonight, we've got the best guest ever. It's the guestiest guest you've ever seen. <laughs> this guy is really famous. The Threatening Bear is a proud to present. Oh, hi guys, I'm really excited about being on tonight's show. Oh, 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 when do I go on? This will be great. Tonight, the hot sounds of the hands stand up from Frank Woodley, the Valval sisters on the flying trapeze tripod, Claire Hooper, Flacco, the umbilical brothers, and more. <laughs> Plus, the big end of town, Bricky's cleavage, and other things being kissed on the campaign trail. <laughs> if you think you've had a gutful of the election, spare a thought for 14 month old Austin Burns. In the space of two hours this week, he got politically fondled by John Howard and Kevin Rudd. <laughs> Look at the horror! <laughs> the same child, it's not twins. Poor little bugger. Politicians love to hug babies, which is why babies vomit. In those two hours, Austin experienced 2% growth and a 10% increase in nappy productivity and <laughs> Howard found him a job in a chimney. <laughs> the kid also thought, it's a while since I breastfed, but usually the tits are closer together. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sadly, the little fellow probably won't remember his big day, but he will grow up with an irrational fear of Mr. Sheen and Mr. Magoo. <laughs> Here's a great step forward in the ACT. A year 10 student is allowed to take regular cigarette breaks at school because her doctor says she's clinically addicted to nicotine. <laughs> the 16 year old smokes a pack a day between classes to relieve her stress. But she says it's all part of her studies. She's hoping to be a bogan. <laughs> That's all right, isn't it? But the teachers say she's a model student and has even earned a role in the new school musical as a smoke machine. <laughs> of course, it is illegal to supply cigarettes to anyone under 18, but the mother claims her daughter has an ID that says she's 21 and it looks real to her. <laughs> And yet, despite all this, her mum is still doing a better job than Brittany. <laughs> Best news of the week. Uh, with only a fortnight to go, the election has taken on the intoxicating stink of desperation. At a rally in Melbourne, Peter Costello's wife made a speech that wasn't about the treasurer. It was about the man she fell in love with. <laughs> <laughs> Tanya Costello says, Peter is someone who cares deeply who lies awake at night tossing and turning about the state of the nation. <laughs> She's even heard him rehearsing speeches and funny lines in the shower. It helps cover the sound, I suspect, of all the tossing. <laughs> but can't you just see it? Soaping up while he rehearses funny lines like, and now, the Prime Minister of Australia, Mr Costello. <laughs> Woohoo! 
Malcolm Turnbull's wife has also been spruiking her hubby. And Alexander Downer's wife released a statement about the sincere, honest and caring woman she married. <laughs> Peter Garrett's wife chimed in too, saying people should stop picking on her fella for his mistakes and just focus on all the great things he stood for when he still had principles. <laughs> And Jeanette Howard said, John isn't just an accomplished politician, a great leader and a true statesman. He's also a top root. <laughs> Shall we get the sideshow on the road? Yes! <laughs> to stroke your inner ear and tickle your mouth organ, please make them welcome the wonderful tripod. I built a wheel, so I had to build an axle, so I needed an axle bracket. So I needed some steel, so I had to make a digger, so I needed an engine. And to run the engine, I had to get some oil, so I needed a system of global trade. To coordinate the training, I needed a network of information sharing, so I needed a laptop, so I could move around. Domestic network wireless router Now finally I can see Thanks to all this technology Footage of some drunk guy setting his ass on fire And his mates trying to put it out with some beer Thank you In the olden days, when you took a photograph, you had to stay still to keep the chemicals time to an exposure on the silver emulsion. <laughs> and then in the darkroom, with some care and patience, you'd be able to develop a single portrait. Now you got your phone with a video camera, connected to the web with a digital network. So anyone could watch straight away Domestic Network Wireless Router Now finally I can see Thanks to all this technology Footage of some dickhead jumping into a pool off a roof And smashing his leg really badly Come so far From where we were To where we are To where we are What have we learned I'll tell you what we've really learned We've seen what it looks like When a Komodo dragon spews up a goat He's just eaten <laughs> We've heard Hungarian hip-hop done Really, really badly We've seen a kid fall off his skateboard Bleeding on his ass and it looks like a flower's blooming on the back of his jeans. <laughs> We've seen another kid hiding under a sheet, crying about Britney Spears fucking up her MTV performance. <laughs> We've seen farting creatures, Indonesian 007 type films starring a midget, <laughs> and other really, really useful stuff. Watching crappy home videos that are this big. You can resize the window to fit the screen, so Yeah, but then it's all pixelated. Oh, they'll invent something to fix that. Thank you, the wheel. Tripod, ladies and gentlemen, the wheel, tripod.
a shame, mate. Yeah? Can you have a look at my mouth for a sec? What am I looking for? <laughs> that. I hope you haven't forgotten about our special guest tonight. You think we should check on him? Yeah, let's check. <laughs> oh, guys, oh, oh, this is great and everything, but do uh, you think I could get some light down here? Or, or maybe a blanket? I mean, I... You'll be fine. Hamilton Intelligent Design, number 909, 45. Why God didn't design the African nesting hippopotamus or the hippo's dream. down there. Before we go on, I've got some announcements. The ALP would like to make it clear that despite Peter Garrett's recent blunders, he'll make a fine environment minister. And besides, they can always change him once they get into power. <laughs> After sweating through 42 kilometres in the New York City Marathon and finding Tom Cruise Waiting at the end, Katie Holmes would like to know just how far she has to run. <laughs> Pakistan President Perez Musharraf has declared emergency rule and suspended the constitution, which came as a shock to many Pakistanis who thought there already was emergency rule and didn't know they had a constitution. <laughs> After labelling Kevin Rudd a show-off for speaking Mandarin on Chinese TV, Alexander Downer wants everyone to know he'll be at his local supermarket tomorrow speaking rudimentary English in the Mandarin section. <laughs> and now, the only two-girl circus in the world, the act described as... irreverent, sacrilegious, foul-mouthed and uninhibited. The Catholic school girls gone bad. From New York City, the Wow Wow Sisters. Hi, y'all. Howdy, y'all. Well, folks, we're the Wow Wow Sisters. We're just delighted to be here tonight in Australia. We are, and we're crazy about each other. Um, some people actually do ask my sister and I if we're gay, and we just say, I don't think it's gay if you're related. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> We're not only the, uh, the only two-girl circus, we're the only acro band in the world. Mm -hmm. And that means we turn tricks while we play. That's right. <laughs> okay. All right. She's going to get her guitar, and some of you may have seen me in this position before. I'm just going to go over here and lay down, spread my legs. <laughs> okay. My little pony. <laughs> okay. Oh, sweetie, not tonight. Oh, I got, still got bruises sorry. from the last time <laughs> you did that. <laughs> oh, woo! <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> ooh, I got the giggles already. <laughs> okay. Ready? Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to grab that. Oh. oh. Hey, sweetie, you hear cutie pie in the front. Get it, get your booty up here. Yeah, push that, push that. Oh, good. She's good. She's cute, too. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Walk that six-pack over here Cause I feel like swapping spit and swilling beer A family tree might be a straight line But 
adventure in, it feels so cozy and fun. We'll baptize you in moonshine, moonshine, moonshine. And you know I like to kiss her So put your pants into a Texas twister 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 Thank you! Thanks, y'all! That was gorgeous. Thank you, Paul. How lovely. Yeah. And how did you get into the wonderful world of circus and cabaret and performing? Well, we come from a long line of Wild West and circus tradition. Our, our daddy was a strong man. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. And my mama was a trick pony. That's right. <laughs> there were just legs on that gal, all four of them. <laughs> uh, and my mama worked at the popcorn stand in the front just for about two days, but she met my dad, and here I am. <laughs> so, yeah. So yeah. the same, same father. I take same it. father, yeah, and he's yeah. so proud of us, whoever he is. We yeah. know he's Wherever just... he is. Dad, you here? Yep. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> We're born six weeks apart. You do the math. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's left me slightly baffled. <laughs> it's just like the three of us. You know what I mean? <laughs> good. This is probably the happiest day of my life at the moment. <laughs> oh, good. Good. Oh, really? We just love having a funny man between us. <laughs> <laughs> and so, do you have anything else for us tonight? Anything else to show us? You really want to see something else? Yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to. Would you, would you like to see something else, ladies and gentlemen? Yes. From the Val Val Sisters. Can we? Can we really? Oh okay. God, this is so exciting. Okay. Is that good? Are you ready, sis? I think so. We just okay. Have to do... Band, hit it. Yeah. Gentlemen, can you please make welcome the most extraordinary, wondrous, sexually dubious and perverse act we have ever seen here on the sideshow. For your edification, for your enjoyment, for your lust crazed wonder, can you please make welcome the incomparable genius of the Val Val Sisters. <laughs>
festival right now. Tim Hall guesting on vocals there with the band. Ladies and gentlemen. I have another announcement. John Howard has finally said sorry. Well, not about the stolen generation, children overboard, Iraq, or making us a terrorist target. His sorry interest rates have chundered all over his re-election chances. <laughs> Standing up for your pleasure tonight, the king of physical and slightly mental comedy, Frank Woodley. Thank you. Thanks very much. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I want to... What, what I'd like to... Uh, um, this is a little bit... It's a little bit weird, but basically, I've, I've actually had a very uh, strange and sad week this week. My, uh, my grandfather passed away on Monday. What I thought... I hope this... Um, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't like a tragedy or anything. He's, you know, he was, he was an old... You know, he, he was 92, and, you know, so... And, and he died peacefully in his sleep, uh, which was more than could be said for the three passengers in his car. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist then. Sorry, that's an old joke. I shouldn't have. It's just... But he, he, he did pass away on Monday, and it has been really... Uh, his, his name uh, is uh, Gustav Lindemann, and he's, he's uh, a classical guitarist. He's a composer and very well-respected in, you know, in, in that circle. And, you know, this is a little... It's a little peculiar... But what I thought I'd like to do tonight, if, if you don't mind, is um, uh, my, my mum said that I could bring in his uh, beautiful old guitar. This is uh, it's a German house guitar. It's a lovely guitar. And I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> I feel a bit weird because I'm not a great guitarist, really. But what I'd like to do, I'd like to, I'd like to play one of uh, uh, my grandfather's compositions called Horizon as a bit of a tribute to him. So I hope... Uh, you know, I'm going to do my best. I don't know. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you enjoy it. So, um, you know, because basically when I was growing up, pretty much every time I saw uh, Poppy, he'd, he'd have this guitar under his arm and he'd, I, we call him Poppy. Um, you, <laughs> you probably shouldn't call him Poppy. <laughs> a, little, a little too familiar, maybe. Uh, just Gustav or Mr Lindemann, maybe. Well, you probably won't call him anything because he's dead, isn't he? <laughs> but that's... So... Um, we call him Poppy, anyway. And this is a, this is a song that, uh, that he composed, and it's called Horizon. I hope you enjoy it. I'm, I'm going to do my best. So It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. So this is uh, Horizon by Gustav Lindemann. This is for you, Poppy. <laughs> this is for Poppy. <laughs> Um, sorry, sorry. Uh, look, I'm just going to start again. That was a little bit. It's just I'm very nervous and a bit because there's a lot of pressure. Because anyway, this is um, uh, Horizon by Gustav Lindemann. Uh, this is uh, this is for Pop this is for you, Poppy. For Poppy. <laughs> Plectrum into the. Um, I, sorry, I've just. I'll get that. Now, it won't take a moment. Sorry. 
sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It's just, this is really very, um, I, uh, that sh this is actually part of the composition. It's, uh, it's the, the more percussive movement that, um, I just don't even know, hang on. Um, I think, oh, hang on, I've got my hand. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, oh. um, sorry, that's, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I'll just, sorry. Um, I'll, I'll, um, this is not really the, um, <laughs> the plectrum. <laughs> this is some, um, this, I'm sorry, I'll just, this is some, um, this is for Poppy. <laughs> this is for Poppy. <laughs> Here she is, the young lady who only just missed out on winning this year's Claire Hooper of the Year Award. Claire Hooper. Something different. You're attired in something a little bit different tonight. We're going for a um, 40s movie chorus girl. Right, um, it, it works. Thank you. It's, uh, it's attached, you know. What? Yeah. Oh, it's a one piece? Yeah, there's no getting in. It's a one piece with a pig skin belt. <laughs> also, I'm pinned to my underwear. So, um, obviously, this would be the night that I needed to go to the bathroom three times after I got dressed. <laughs> Good so, to have you here attired in any way you want to be attired. Thank How you. Thank you. And, um, my underwear's nice as well. Um, <laughs> no, it's important because I, I basically have discovered that what's going to make or break my relationship with my fiancé, <laughs> thank you, uh, <laughs> is the issue of underwear with large crotch holes. For yourself or and for...? No, 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 and whether or not they should be thrown out. Oh, his, his underwear. Yeah, his crotch holes. Look, and I realise you shouldn't go in too aggressive because I don't want to be naggy, but I'm just sort of oh, letting him know we can afford to buy you new underwear. And he says, no, they're fine. Puts them on, puts a leg up on the bed to demonstrate. <laughs> and they're not fine. Um, the old spuds are lolling out, are they? <laughs> the Hessian sack isn't holding the potatoes in place. Is that what you're saying? No. Baby bear, baby bear and big bald papa bear are popping out of the cave occasionally. <laughs> they're having a lovely cheeky little peek. And I, um, actually, I find it really amusing because I, um, I, I had the fortune of... Well, I needed 120 bucks, so I emceed a male strip show recently. Yeah, that's right. And I just... <laughs> well, I found what was really interesting was that it takes one of these guys the full length of Nutbush City Limits to do what my fiancé achieves in one swift leg movement onto the bed. <laughs> pop, pop it out. Out it comes. Yeah, um, I was going to show you something tonight, but unfortunately... I called my fiancé a few hours ago and he said, could I please not show his underwear holes on television? <laughs> so I'd, I'd been arguing and I said, oh, I'll show these on television. He went, yeah, all right. But he didn't know I was serious and when he found out I was serious, he said, you have to promise not to do it. And How so could I promised you do, not How to... could you no, do that? No, I've got something else to show you. No, I don't you. want to see something else. We, no, I not... saw it during rehearsal and it was, come on. No, 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 you know, I didn't you... even get the good no, ones. Don't... Yeah. No, don't. No, do you want to see it? You should see it. No, no, can no. Do it? Green room. Can we? Hey, what's up? No. Can you get Wendy? No. In the green, get them no. in the green room. Get no, someone in. No, they're not even the no, good no. ones anyway, because the good ones are the black ones. They're, they're the black ones with three apparently. Holes in them. But he wouldn't let me get anywhere near them because I put them in the bin the other day and he fished them out. And now he's keeping really close guard on them. <laughs> so these, I mean, I didn't even get Wendy. No. Oh, oh, oh she's going. That's your dress. Look, it's so that's lush nice. and appointed, isn't it? And, well, that's not. And lovely tonal beige. Don't look at the oh. bra, honestly. Oh, dear God. Can't find oh, it. God. Where are they? <laughs> 
OK. Uh, this is the, this is the underwear of the thin. fiance. I don't think she thinks they're what? Look, look at that. <laughs> they oh. are clean. That's the only reason I got my hands okay, on the because I pretended underwear. to do the washing. Let's get to the crotch. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> no. None of that's shameful. Oh, dear God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I could fit my whole hand. <laughs> oh, thanks, Wendy. You know, that's, those are pretty savage holes. I like how she tucked them back into your purse there. <laughs> oh, that's nice. They're savage. Yeah, They're it's nasty. I won't notice that that all happened. <laughs> They're savage holes. Uh, it, it indicates to me bad case of jock rash. No! It's a desperation no, no, no. to get in there and just scrounge it up and that's what's tearing the undies apart. No, 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 no. Look. Tell you what, a little bit of cream might help that. Or just after a shower, making sure he dries. Maybe not towel dries, just air dries like that. It doesn't rub it and make it worse. Somebody There's a little sounds abrasion. like a bit of an expert. Oh, I've, I've had some problems. <laughs> I'm confessing a lot tonight. I don't care. Let's just get straight to the point. Especially after that, I, I owe it to him. I basically have re reached the point where I'm willing to compromise on the underwear holes issue. If Wade will compromise too, he has to agree to wear some new underwear and in return I agree to convert it according to his needs. Nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. That gives you the... That's love. Oh, he'd love to put his leg up on the bed in those, wouldn't he? <laughs> Gappy. <laughs> can't do it, I can't do it. I offended myself so much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can you please thank Claire Hooper? Another quick announcement. According to the head of MI5, Al-Qaeda is recruiting British teenagers and children for terror attacks in the UK. Well, there you go. Proof the young people of today are good for something. <laughs> but if Al-Qaeda is recruiting kids, I guess we can expect another baby boom. <laughs> are you ready to get down with a song? From their upcoming album, Clayton Dolly, Lachlan Dolly, please make welcome The Hands. When out of control, I knew that you 
were right for me You certainly fill my empty soul you to keep it down, uh, Sonny. We're trying to make a show up here, okay? Don't you know who I am? Listen, you'll be on oh, in just a sec, oh. okay? Just keep you keep a lid on it, all right? A lid on it? Are you crazy? You so Welcome to 45 Seconds with Flacco. Now, do you hate the theater as much as I do? Well, perhaps you'd consider purchasing something from my range of products for the theatrically reticent. For example, my unique opera glasses. <laughs> there they are, look at that, you look riveted. The actors love you and you can just be asleep back here. That's fantastic. Because <laughs> you're anything like me, you drag along to the theater, you fall asleep in the first 10 minutes. <laughs> Which is embarrassing when you're on stage at the time. <laughs> So, let me just demonstrate my products for the theatrically reticent for you. The correct procedure is this. Drag along to the theater, sitting in the front row, board shitless, curtain opens, actor comes out, actor starts talking. business. The International Swimming Federation has closed its investigation into Ian Thorpe. Apparently his testosterone levels were so high because he'd spent the last 25 years saving it up. 
Here they are, those two brave mine workers, trapped in the shaft of their own collapsed imagination. The Umbilical Brothers. inside a tank. <laughs> Normally he would escape using a razor sharp diamond ring. <laughs> a razor sharp diamond ring that I stole earlier this evening. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay mate, you can get out, there's a door just here. Help me there's a door just here. Help me <laughs> there's a door just here. A door! <laughs> I can't... <laughs> what? Bullfullet, bullfullet, or just... Brilliant! Let's go! Bullfullet, Remember, if you haven't had a look at abc.net.au slash sideshow, never mind. <laughs> well, that's about it. But before we go, a quick look at next week's small screen sideshow. In Canberra, Peter Costello will give the deputy leader's address. The National Press Club will broadcast it live from his shower. <laughs> In Brisbane, Kevin Rudd will officially launch the ALP election campaign with the slogan, what he said. <laughs> Wednesday is well diabetes day. Sweet. <laughs> In Japan, a portable toilet for your car will go on sale. So now you can honestly say you drive a shit box. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the counter of the 
local video store and I'm picking up the white supremacist homoerotic Frank Miller Let's Beat Those Towel Heads classic 300 and the two teenagers behind the counter are generally ignoring me and one of them saying it's weird it's weird that that Betty Page video has come out because I've got that Betty Page t-shirt with Betty Page on it and the guy says wow you've got a Betty Page t-shirt and the girl says yeah but I didn't wear it tonight because of the blood. He says, you got blood on it? And she says, yeah, you know, when I cut my finger. And he goes, oh, right. And I did that really bad bandaging job. And she laughs and says, yes. And he says, wow. Except he says it like, wow. I'd like to see you again in that Betty Page t-shirt. But instead, all he says is, hey, respect. And then adds, I'd really like a Betty Page t-shirt. And she laughs and giggles and says, it's a girl's t-shirt. And he says, I'd crash through the gender barrier for a Betty Page t-shirt. And I'm standing there listening to this and I'm bored out of my mind, waiting, waiting. And the only thought that is running through my head is this. I'm waiting for the bus and there's these two emo kids standing there except they're not standing there they're, they're slouching there and they look cool and angular and they're listening to a song by a guy called Patrick and I know this because they keep saying Patrick really understands us <laughs> you know emos they're just the new goths just anorexic goths goths who don't have a fat problem or really bad skin goths who've gone to beauty school and who know how to slouch not look fat like goths Fat goths, man. They just look like three scoops of black ice cream on top of each other, slowly melting in the sun. But yes, my friends, emos are goths. But you can't tell that to an emo, because they'll cry, run off in the bush, and kill themselves. And I know these two emo kids want to rub their thin, white, matchstick bodies together and set the world on fire. But they never will. They'll just keep listening to Patrick. And occasionally, very occasionally,
minutes, so time is running out. If you want to be part of the most beautiful studio audience in Australia, phone 02-9383-4741 after 9am on Monday, or send an email to audience at gmwtv.com.au. Come to the sideshow. This is the happiest night of my life. Seat right. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of the evening. Yes, sir. Our special guest for the evening. I bet you thought it had never come. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, what are you doing? What have you done? I didn't see nothing. Nor did I. Nor did I. Sweet dreams, kids.